Pirate, Maniac, Legend. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we'll be looking at the reasons why Far Cry 3's Vas Montenegro is still the best villain of the franchise. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Far Cry series has certainly come a long way in recent years, standing up alongside Assassin's Creed as one of Ubisoft's flagships. Give or take, you know what you're in for. Wide open worlds, plenty of outposts to liberate, and narratives that aren't afraid to explore the worst of humanity. Everyone has their own personal favorite, but in terms of sheer impact, Far Cry 3 is in a league all its own. Come on, mother Pull the trigger! Many have tried to duplicate its success, but none have quite managed it. And we think it's all down to the man with his face on the cover. Why? Well, let's dive in and find out. Have I failed to entertain you? Infinitely quotable. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Perhaps these lines wouldn't have the same resonance if not for Michael Mando, but it's fair to say that practically every piece of spoken dialogue that escapes Voss's mouth is gold. His speech on the definition of insanity is as haunting as it is captivating, not to mention legendary by this point. Whereas every time he starts screaming at Jason, it chills us to the bone. From his first scene to his last, his psychotic ramblings never failed to inspire fear and awe, especially when they started to make a little too much sense. Are you enjoying my sister's company? Huh? Fearful charisma. Here. Down here. There's a very thin line between crafting a villain that's wholly irredeemable and one that players feel a connection to. Voss walks across that line with bloodstained hands and synth music playing in the background. Given his fondness for killing and torture, it's clear that Voss is incapable of any form of redemption, though it's also clear that due to violent family drama, Rook Island's barbaric nature, and a whole lot of drugs, he didn't have much of a chance to begin with. And yet, from his very first scene, we can't help but be enchanted with his maliciousness. It's that sweet spot between enjoyable and hateable, and players couldn't get enough of it. He became the new standard. Far Cry 4's Pagan Min, fashionable and fun, but given the events of the story, turned out to be the most justified character out of the bunch. Far Cry 5's Joseph Seed, mesmerizing in his zealotry, but at times was so charismatic that you couldn't help but wonder if you were on the wrong side, which took away from some of the agency. Far Cry 6's Anton Castillo, no idea, but we can only hope. However, it's fair to say that all have clearly springboarded off of Voss's success by being both psychotic yet charming. Don't get us wrong, it's a major improvement compared to the days of Dr. Krieger, but the fact that Voss was so fascinating in spite of the atrocities he committed shows that his whole character was like catching lightning in a bottle. I'm gonna drive a bullet through my sister's skull. Like I did you brother Grant. Michael Mando's performance. So they say to me, they say, Voss, Voss, who the f is it going to be? Them or me? Me or them? Not to knock the performance of his fellow actors or anything, Troy Baker is always awesome. Greg Bright was borderline hypnotizing, and Giancarlo Esposito is. Come on, it's Giancarlo Esposito. Of course he's going to be amazing. But there's something about Michael Mando's portrayal of Voss that just resonates. The Spanish flair, the screams, the way he delivers his now infamous lines, whether it be in-game or live action, it's just a treat to behold and should have at least won a Game Award or BAFTA for it. You can see why fans are hyped to see his return in the Far Cry 6 season pass. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to my show. Today we do our first torture. I have a little surprise for you. His impact. So much for poetics. It's really too bad that Citra had to hook you up. Because now the only way to kill you is to erase you completely. Even if you disregard all of the other games in the franchise, you only have to look at Voss's accomplishments within Far Cry 3 itself to understand just how influential he is. From beginning to end, Voss enthralled us with his cruelty. He kept baiting Jason into becoming as mad as him, and he pushed the player towards embracing the monster within. He accomplished this with flying colors, and did so about halfway through the game. Afterwards, players are presented with a new villain, Hoyt. As Voss's superior, Hoyt was a sadistic madman that was meant to serve as the true villain of the game, and he fell flat. Everything Hoyt tried to do, Voss did it first. Even as a henchman, Voss eclipsed everyone around him, to the point where no one else could even hope of taking the spotlight away. Did I ever tell you the 
definition of insanity. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.